the draft is that yung early game natin dito talagang magpe-pick off na magpe-pick up lang ang U level trying to get pero whenever we comes to a certain team fight going kailangan nilang i-delay at least uh, evade yung mga early skirmishes or kapag nakita nila nag-group off yung uh, yung PVE go for the split push Yes, I agree with you, Don, uh, Tads. Pero uh, speaking of here on to the early game, ang sisimula na kaagad dito ng, uh, ng U-level or rather nitong either main, yung aggression. So, mm. it's good thing no? na it's actually uh, UG is on the Farsa role dito sa kanilang side. Kasi yung early game dito, I'm really leaning towards dito for U-level as they could have, uh, yung, kumbaga, yung power spike nila dito as early even on level 1 or even on level 2 or rather pag nag-level 4 dito yung Brody, alam mo na meron at meron talaga sila dito mapipitas given itong si Yato with the Hayabusa. But look at how the Atlas dito ni Van Bin looking on kung kailan dito kukuha ng orange buff. Good, perfect match para tumaka. So ngayon, may kum alam ni Lee, alam nila kung saan nakaposition ngayon dito ang U-level. Tingin ko talaga, ano, uh, ginawa nila yung assignment nila. Alam na alam kung paano gumalaw ang U-level. Pero at least, magandang positioning din yun. At least, they are able to provide information kung, kung mag invade ba si Roger, kung mag invade ba yung side ng LB dito. But the match-up is currently even when it comes to the laning stages. Si Beerus at si Yuji nasa bottom lane. And uh, habang si Van naman is just trying to get his level 4 as early as possible para ma-enable agad yung teamfight capability ng, uh, ng PvE. Kung baga ang gagawin lang dito ni Van is talagang iikot eh. This is almost the same uh, playstyle what he actually did during the, the Jawhead game. Yung talagang nagpa-provide lang siya ng vision dito sa team while nag, uh, nag-stay on the sideline. And that was a very crucial pick-off na manggagaling sa either main. That is the Brody and that is the hero na ini-expect mo talaga na mag -e excel during the early game. Totoo yun, Kuya Rob, kasi alam mo naman, ang early game talaga ng, uh, ang, well, ang scaling rather ng Brody is talagang sobrang lakas niya early game and slowly going down pag tumatagal lalo yung laban with a flicker out para kay Van. Doc Man with the Spiral Strang game, trying to get him out. But uh, again, he needs to play carefully. Still level 2 up against level 4 na Roger ni Choco. So again, just controlling the game, providing information as much as possible ang laro dito ng Limit Breakers. That's gonna be a big problem for you level. Kasi ito yung, ano eh, ito yung power spike nila eh. Itong early game na ito eh. The first 5 minutes of the game, this is the window period dito ng U level to make, to make, uh, ano eh, uh, hindi comeback eh. Kumbaga, to make a, a certain momentum para makuha nila yung, ano, yung tempo ng laro. Pero baliktad ang nangyari dito, TDC. It was all about either main making the plays. Tignan mo dito sa gitna. Doc, men may actually get a pick off. Naku, mukhang mahuhuli siya dito with Van securing the kill plus the feathered airstrike. Ni Choco, eh, rather ni Van at si Choco is sinisimulan na yung Turtle, 571 critical strike para sa Turtle dito. Pero tingin ko hindi gaano ready ang Limit Breakers for this kind of engagement. Escanor moving forward, Molten Sides at mukhang makukuha dito ni Esmeralda ang Turtle buff. Pero ang, ang ganda na ginagawa dito ng Elbia, alam nila na okay, sige sandali lang, level 4 na dito yung Atlas. At medyo lamang sila kapag nag-group up. So, we're just giving enough space for the core para kay Karam na, na, na makapag-farm dito. Para kina mo, Kuya Rob, talagang uh, oh, no. peak off ang ginagawa dito ng LB. Pero si Van is sobrang kunat na with the frigid breath at well plus a perfect match. Mahihirapan silang i-take down yun kaagad-agad. Zino-zone out na lang sila dito ngayon ng Atlas. And this is too early to say, no? Na, na, masyadong ano eh, nahihirapan na sila kagad para sa isang Atlas. And look at here, even onto the top lane, eh nasasabayan dito ni Sagit no si Escanor. And this is really bad news para sa side ngayon dito ng ano, ng U-Level. Nako, mahirap dito. Control the side lanes. Yun ang ginagawa nila dito sa side ng LB. And uh, again, with the rotation from Choco, they're trying to get out Escanor. Will pounce but forcing a flicker sa side ni Escanor. Pero makita dito, para silang uh, nag stock lang sila, naghahanta, naghahanap sila ng opportunity para makahanap ng isang pick-off para sa PVE. But LB... Medyo, well, level 4 na rin dito si Dokman trying to go for the Imperial Justice. Mukhang nahuli nila si Beerus. Beerus again trying to run away. Electro final blow with the Predator Airstrike as well. Sa side din naman ni Yuji at mahuhuli nila si Sure B, si Beerus at saktong-sakto at perfect din yung target na yun para ma-prevent nila yung early game ng PB. E. That was a good comedic lance coming from Escanor. Nag, uh, nag, ano, nag wings by wings na palabas doon si Yuji. Lilipat na ng game. Kaso ang nangyari doon, na comedic lance siya, bumagsak siya doon. Pero hindi naman siya namatay. Yun nga lang, ang nangyari is naipet na rin doon sa ibaba si Beerus. Uh, good play coming from U-Level. Pero the question is, is this enough? 
Kasi ngayon, may hepta sila ngayon dito yung Prodi. They have to make a play. They need to force a fight ngayon habang hindi pa malakas ang team fight ngayon dito ng either main. As they're gonna be pick on picking off dito si Bad. Ang sunod, ang tanong ay wala pa naman. Dito sa so may bandang gitna, it's most likely na ma-hold pa naman to ng either main. And look at Escanor already trying to take the turtle and Beerus with the eye for an eye be able to take or go away against you level. Pero ngayon, dito sa so may turtle, mukhang nasa either main na naman. At mukhang makakuha dito. Cometic lang sa mukhang dito mama, pero makakuha pa rin ni Roger, ni Choco, ang turtle buff. But with the return kill, Escanor will go down pero sa Yuji. Wala silang magic damage with the fatal links. Hindi end up yung combo nila. Here's Choco with the nice cleanup. Choco makakatakas pa yata dito. Cyclone ay hindi available but with enough space from Van. Frigid Breath, hindi, hindi nyo kailangan pumakasok dito at habulin yung mga core namin. 2 for 1 exchange para sa side ng LB. Unti-unti nga mabuli dito yung LB. Look at the net worth and the items. Hindi nagaanong malayo at unti-unti nga mahabol. And also with the itemization dito sa side ng ano ah, ni, uh, ni Brody. Again, hep na si sabi mo nga kanina mm. plus transition into a BOD. So yun yung ina-expect nila. Go for the burst damage. Get uh, virus as early as possible para mawala ka agad yung uh, yung possible burst, yung early burst and also hindi makakaikot yung PVE. Kasi si si Beerus pala yung makakaikot dito early game eh. Kung sakaling makahuli ng fatal links dito si Van, uh, ang makakadamage dito is si Yuji and uh, Insagitnu. So with that early pick off kay Yuji, tinanggal agad nila yung isang malaking problema nila using the Feather A star. Yes, si picking of Feather A strike. Ayun na nga kay Yuji, pero the Feral Justice will be taking on too. Pero ang mamamatay doon in dalawang members dito na U-Level as Beerus going to take away onto the backline. Pero napatay naman dito ni si Van ng ating Brody. But sa 2 for one exchange in favor of Aether Main as they're gonna taking down the outer turret here onto the bottom lane. Ang nangyari kasi doon is actually gonna be an awkward possession coming from Dockman. Pag face check niya doon, hindi niya inaakala na dalawa na yung uh, uh, members doon ng Aether Main. It's a good thing na napick up pa rin naman nila doon yung Atlas. Kaso ang problema kasi ngayon dito, Kuya TDZ, oh. is that, ano eh, uh, parang hindi maganda yung nagiging uh, trade-off dito kadalasan ng U-Level against uh, the heroes here for Aether Main. But look at here, mga kaibigan, itong es uh, Escanor is still grasping here against uh, Sagit Nu here on the Esmeralda. So, ngayon dito, no, Kuya TDZ, ang nagiging uh, dilemma ngayon dito for U-Level is saan ba talaga tayo pupunta? We're just reacting kung ano yung binabato sa atin ng Aether Main. Pero ngayon, ang naisip nila, kunin na lang muna kaya natin yung Turtle. At mukhang Turtle nga ang kukunin nila dito, Electro Final Blow, mukhang inuhuli nila agad ni Biru sa ligrit. Oh, ito pa, isa pang Fatal Links. Dian will go down and Beerus will take up the Mage Burst dito ng LB. 2, 4, nil exchange. At si Yuji pa makakuha ng isa. Nakuha, tatlo na yan. 3, 4, nil ang magiging huli nila dito. Tagiasin with the moving forward with the, uh, again, with the ultimate. Able to run away. But nakita mo yung, yung ano, confidence dito ng PVE. Talagang box out kung box out ang laban uh, ng PVE dito. Or trying to control the early game or trying to control the uh, the back lines first and then iniiwan agad nila yung, uh, yung front lines dito ng LB. Yun yung nagiging opening dito ng Liam Breakers ng U-Level. Oh, oh, speaking of opening dito, the Feather Air Strike will actually hit on Escanor. He's still alive with the Cotternet Inferno dito, mga kaibigan. Atakas pa naman dito ang ating Tamos as they gonna retaliate against Tigas in Sagit Nu. Pero siya pa rin ang mas matigas dito, Kuya TDZ. Nako, saktong-sakto Shadow Kill at si Devan with a perfect match at makakatakas ka agad siya with the Shadows. Pero exposed dito ang Tier 2 uh, ta uh, Towers, turrets dito ng Limit Breakers at yun yata ang magiging uh, next target ng PVE. Kung iisipin mo dito, no, TDC, this is a perfect game para kay Van. Why? Kasi sino lang ba may purify dito sa side ng U-Level? It's all about Doc Men. Look at the Feather Airstrike dito from UG. Almost! Almost! na mapatay niya doon si Doc Men and right now mga kaibigan with this lead coming from either Men this is a 6,000 lead this is definitely scary bakit? alam natin na dapat ang U-level yung nag-set ng tempo nito eh they have this Brody they have this damage early pero mukhang sila pa yung nahihirapan dito sa rotation na pinakita ngayon dito ng either Men nako totoo yan at Looking at the turrets of PVE, meron pa ring opportunity dito yung limit breakers na makakuha ng additional gold with those standing turrets 
ng, uh, ng PVE. Kailangan nila nila maghanap ng isa pang opening to get or at least to win those skirmishes against PVE. And also, looking at the item transitioning dito ni, uh, ni Kram and, uh, and yung Hayabusa, sobrang bilis din nila maka, uh, makahabol o makakuha ng comeback. So, itong first Lord ng game natin na to, kailangan talaga nila mag-contest. Hindi dapat nila ibibigay yung, uh, yung Lord. Since magbabuff yung mga minions dito, mas mahihirapan silang mag-advance. Uh, well, paglagpas nila ng river. Kaso Pero, ang problema kasi nila dito eh. Look uy. at Van going on directly kay Kram para lang i-fatal legs. Pero ang unang namatay doon is gonna be the Atlas. Ang susunod, it's gonna be Doc Man. It looks like you level. Pumapalag sila dito sa may bandang Ito Lord Fit. Nakatakas pa sa si Escanor. Look at the back line. Virus ngayon hinahabol dito ng Hayabusa. Ang tanong makakatakas ba? Hindi! Dahil si UG ang sumunod. Yung tatlong members kayo dito ng you level Sila naman ang magtitake ng Lord and Kram here with the damage na meron siya. This is gonna be a quick Lord para sa side ngayon ng U-Level. Suddenly, the tables have turned, TDZ. Ito yung sinasabi natin, Kuya Rob, na talagang maghanap sila ng opening at kapag nakakuha sila ng isang objective against or isang skirmish against PVE, yun ay hinihintay nilang possible comeback with the uh, Super Minions and also the Lord pushing in. Mas makakuha sila ng sustainable gold at kita mo, Kuya Rob, pantay na ang net worth dito ng LB at PVE. So, kailangan gawin dito ng PVE is maghanap na naman sila ng isang pang opportunity just like so. Unuhuling huli dito si Kram. Si Kram maka maubos but with the burst damage from Dian, makakuha pa rin nila. Ban, trying to run away but with the shadow kill from the Hayabusa. Ito na hinihintay nila. Dedire-diretso na. At may Lord pa, matake down nila. Pero tier 2 turret dito ng PVE is still standing. Pero enough na yon sa tingin ko, Kuya Rob, para ma-push out nila itong tier 3 turret sa bottom. Tingin ko talaga enough na yon Na nabasag na nila yon Escanor, meanwhile, on the top lane, is taking down the base turret. Pero mag-back away na lang muna sila as they would like to fight. Kung baga, disiplina muna disiplina. para sa U-level squad. Alam mo kung ano ang nangyari doon? Mm. It was all about Aether Main. They are on the lead. Ang naging problema nila, pinilit nila na pasukin yung Brody sa likod. They want to do a fatal links at pasukin yun doon. Even ginawa rin yun ni Sagit Nguyen as well ni Van ulit at ang nangyari na baliktad na naman it's all about Kram here making the place and going into the right position at kung iisipin mo binabantayan siya dito ni Dian hindi siya uh, iniiwan yun yung isa sa malaking factor talaga dito bakit hindi nila ma-pick off agad-agad dito ang Brody tingin ko yun ang ano eh yun ang uh, playstyle yun ang plano dito ng ano eh ng U-level eh since Malakas tayo mag-burst ng physical, malakas din ako mag-burst ng, uh, ng magic. Sabi dito ni Dian, magsama tayong dalawa. Pag pumasok dito sa van sa loob, ang tanong, ang big question dito is, hindi pa nakakapag-itemize dito ng Athena Shield si, uh, si Van. So, talaga may hirapan siyang hulihin yung backlines. And also with the enough uh, physical damage dito na para kay Hayabusa. And also yung catch ni Dokmen, mas mabilis siya mag-burst out. So, posibleng gawin dito... Kahit hindi si Van yung maunang mag-initiate eh. Kahit siguro yung mm. Falling Star Moon or, or at least mag-separate uh, nila yung, uh, yung members dito ng LB para makahabol ulit or para makakuha ulit ng, uh, ng lead. Pero talking about lead here, 37.5k uh, was aside ng Limit Breakers and also PVE naman with 34.3. Pero ito na kamukha mag-sandwich play dito. Nahuli dito si, uh, si Dian. At makakapalik out pa rin siya. Enough pa yun. Hindi pa rin enough. But Escanor trying to isolate the rest of PVE. Mukha mga kahabol. Hayabusa able to secure the kill here. But Escanor getting isolated. Kram and Shurby. Nahuli nila si Dian. Shurby trying to run away. Pero mukha hindi ito makakatakas. Meron pang shadow. Quad shadow dito. At Kram will secure the kill. 2-4-1. Isa pa lang ang tumutumba dito sa side ng U-Level. At ito na yata hinihiti na yung pagkakataon ko yun. Naulit na naman yung strategy na hulihin doon yung back lanes dito ng U-Level and it failed once again kuya TDZ as the members of U-Level squad going here on the mid lane. Ngayon, godlike na dito si Krav. Naubos naman nila dito yung mga minion waves so there's a possibility na hindi pa naman mababasag kagad dito ang base turret sa may bandang gitna pero nga lang yung ibaba. Two members down ngayon ang side ng Aether May. The question is, kaya bang nilang depensahan to? I think so dahil buhay pa naman dito yung farsa. It's all about uh, it's a waiting game. Mm -hmm. Kuya TDZ, nakita mo yung damage doon ni Kram. That's a 2,000 critical. Wow. So, kahit sabihin natin ikasakang Atlas, kahit sabihin natin meron kang Antikiras at Athena Shield, hindi ka pa rin uubra dyan sa critical na meron ang Brody. Napakasakit ng critical ng Brody dito. 714 ang KDA ni Kram at hulihin talaga. Yan ang magiging key point 
ng PBE. Pero syempre, hindi ba pahuli dito ang Limit Breakers with the initiation from Dogmen again catching the right target at the right time. And also Escanor just trying to delay the game and trying to isolate the rest of PBE. Nang umahabol, nang umahabol dito ang Limit Breakers. Endless Battle pickup na dito para kay Hayabusa. So mas, maki, mas makakita tayo ng, uh, ng mas, malaki, mas, mas masakit na damage when it comes to his damage output mamaya-maya kapag ng papasok dito si Ban. Oh, perfect match. Mukhang nahuli dito ng Cometic Lands into the Spiral Strangling. Plus, Imperial Justice wala dito si Ban. At mukhang papasok mo dito si Tigasin. Makakuha niya si Dian. Hindi niya rin naikasa. At mukhang nakikita niya yata pala ang kanyang ultimate. But sure, PB Rules. Mukhang makakuha niya isa. 2 for 1 exchange. Kram. Mukhang nagdedelikado pa. Naka-take down na naman sila ng isa. Dokman will go down. 3 for 1 exchange. Hayabusa will be caught off guard. Choco trying to move forward here. Tigasin. Quad Shadow, dinalaro niya lang pa isa-isa. Regalaroan yung apat pala with a shadow kill. Mukhang umahabol pero hindi pa rin yung enough. 4 for 1, PBE. Mukhang umahabol lang, umahabol sila dito. And LB si Kram ang nag-iisang member na survive doon sa last skirmish. Nako, bukang papasukin siya dito, Kuya TDC. He has actually used the flicker out. But Beerus here going 1v1 ngayon dito kay Kram. So what actually happened there? TDC na pick off nila. Nag-sacrifice doon si Ban. Yes, napatay siya doon. Kaso, the awkward moment for you level was the knock up coming from the Lord. Dahil na knock up yung dalawang members nila doon at nawalan sila ng possession. Kram, hindi siya makamove forward kasi wala na agad doon si Dian eh. The moment na namatay si Van, namatay din doon si Dian and Kram was put in a position na hindi siya agad makaangat. And ang nangyari doon, one by one, naubos ang mga members ng U-Level. And from there, they actually almost wiped out. So ngayon, the Level 2 Lord, the Luminous Lord, is on the hands of Aether Main. Sila naman ngayon ang nasa opensa. Ang tanong, Kuya TDC, do you think kaya ba ng U-Level dito na mag-hold dito sa Luminous Lord? Tingin ko kaya pa nilang i-hold to pero ang uh, kailangan nandun si Dokmen, nandun din dapat si Escanor. Isang taga-hold, isang taga-damage. But with the aggression coming in from PVE here, kailangan talaga mag-ingat ni Dokmen since the wave is already pushing into the middle lane at mukhang sasabay pa yata ang Lord dito sa next minion wave sa top lane. So hold the ground ang magiging play dito. But look at Van here, really playing aggressively. At mukhang meron pumasok sa loob, Escanor trying to isolate UG, forced to use his wings by wings. Pero transition agad sila sa may top lane. Mga kabigan, Escanor trying to run away, pero mahuhuli siya. Van, moving forward with the two-man fatal links. Ito yung hindi nila pagkakataon dito. Tatlo agad tumumbas sa Limit Breakers. Ito yung document pa. Sige tumukan niya mabuhay. Gawin ang Spiral Strangling. But with the Lord and the damage from PVE, huli ka ang sabi dito ng PVE with the taunts as well. PVE. That catch from Ban is really crucial for Limit Breakers at dalawang core ang nahuli. They we will be seeing once more ang U level mamaya on Series 5. Pero congratulations to Adrian Main as they move towards our day number two ng main qualifiers.